Now that you've got your storyboard done and your background finished, it's time to take our pictures in photo booth. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the finder, which is this icon down here that looks like a face, and double click on that. Then we're going to go into our places under applications. If you can't see this, your places might be closed and you'll just have to click on the gray arrow on the side. So go ahead and click on applications. In the search panel at the top right, type in photo booth. And there's our application right there. The photo booth application looks like a red curtain with a strip of photos beside it. And we can go ahead and open that. This is going to use the camera on the top of your Mac so that you'll see yourself when you open Photo Booth. So the first thing that we need to do before we start taking pictures is we need to make sure that our background covers the whole thing. You can adjust your screen or move it around so you can see that the piece of paper covers my entire viewfinder. And then we need to apply the effect that we're going to use. So here on the bottom right is an effects button you go ahead and click on that, you'll see all the different effects that you can use in Photo Booth. We'll be using the comic book effect, which is right here on the first page. If you open this, you might open to another effects page because there's multiple different effects pages in Photo Booth. But the one that we want is comic book, so make sure you're on the first page. And then go ahead and click comic book. So now you can see I look different in the video because the comic book effect has been applied. And you can see that on my tree, you can see it because I drew the lines very thickly. That's important. Make sure your background was drawn thickly so that you can see it in the comic book effects. Now, all we have to do is pose the way that we want for our story and push the red camera button. It's going to count down and then take the picture. So there's our picture. And it's going to put it right down in this bottom slideshow right here. The next thing that we're going to have to do is once all of your pictures are taken, which is about three to five pictures, you're going to need to select those and put them into iPhoto, which is pretty easy to do. Just click on the picture, and if you want to select more than one, hold down the Command button, which is on your keyboard next to Spacebar. You're going to hold down to Command, and you're going to pick a few more pictures. So I picked three more pictures. Then, all you have to do is click the iPhoto icon right here. You'll see it in the bottom left of the screen. Click on that. It will import your photos into iPhoto. You don't need to do anything in iPhoto. You can close that out. And we're done with the first step of our comic book.